Hey guys, AJ here. In this video, we're going to be talking about when is the best time to call expired listings? All right, well, first of all, congratulations for even wanting to attempt calling expired listings. So many agents are just so afraid of calling expired listings, and quite frankly, because of that fear of lead generating, of prospecting, that's why I've heard 90% of agents fail in the first three years, but because you're watching this video, you're not gonna be one of them. So when is the best time to call expired listings? Is it the morning, afternoons, evenings when they're home from work? There's a lot of different opinions on this, but the reality is, is the morning's the best time. And specifically in the morning, the best time to start is 8 a.m. Now you need to be compliant with any state laws that might be in place. However, from what I've seen, what I've experienced, as long as you're calling 8 a.m. or after, you're good to go. Why 8 a.m.? Why not 9? Why not 10? Well, what happens at 8 a.m.? Typically, the average American is commuting to work between 8 and say 8.50 so that they're actually at their job at 9. So you can either catch them while they're in their car commuting or before they leave their house in the morning. Because once they get to work at 9 a.m., most people can't answer their phone at work. You know, as real estate agents, it's a little, it's a little bit different. So you want to catch them before they get to work. And what I always like to do is, is I like to call them morning too because that's when I'm freshest. That's when I'm not letting any distractions get in the way. So my morning routine when I was smashing expireds and just crushing it with it was to be role playing with a role play partner the expired script at 7.45 right at 8 I was on the mojo dialer and that is super important because you go right into a successful role playing session where you got some good feedback, got some good energy going and now you're right on the phones 8 a.m. ready to make it happen. And what I found from eight to nine is that the pickup rate is just so much higher between that time. Typically, I would like to get eight to 10 contacts per hour using the triple line dialer on Mojo. But if, if you could get, say, six after nine, that's still pretty good uh, for the most part, but you really wanna get going at eight to nine. I always say and one hour between eight and nine is like worth two hours anytime after nine. So get up early and get on the phones early. Have it time blocked in your schedule to do it from eight to 11. That just should be like what you do every day. Like no matter what, you're lead generating from eight to 11. And eventually, once you put in the work, you, you can do other things to build your business. But if you're in a position where you don't have consistent deals coming in, say two a month, then you need to have that time where you're just putting in the effort to make it happen. It was a good year and a half, two years, where I was calling, no matter what, at least 10 hours a week, two hours a day. However, there's a ramp up period. If, if you're new to this game, there's a ramp up period where that you, you should be calling three, maybe even four hours, depending on what your motivation is. So I, I just want you to know that right off the bat. So once it's time blocked, you just gotta show up be excited when you're calling them. And what I'd always do is I'd call for 50 minutes, and then I would take a 10 minute break. I'd either eat a snack, use the restroom, or watch like a motivational video on YouTube to keep me inspired. And while you're calling, you wanna make sure that you're not looking at your phone, because when you're using a dialer, whether it's Red X or Mojo or Vulcan 7, you can actually be logged into the dialing system and have your computer in it, or have your phone in another room, or on airplane mode, just get it away from you so you're not looking at it for texts that are coming in, you're not checking your email, you're not on Facebook. You wanna be focused, you wanna be standing there, you wanna be smiling, you wanna have a headset on, you wanna have your scripts in front of you. I recommend having a mirror in front of you so you can be checking, because they say you should be smiling while you're dialing, smile and dial, because when you're smiling while you're calling using these scripts that I'm going to teach you on this YouTube channel is, uh, you want to smile because you, your tonality comes across like you're much more enthusiastic, you're happier, and that is what helps you get the listing appointment. It's been said that enthusiasm sells, and I believe that 100%. Now, I, I know you're thinking, well, AJ, what about when people get off work? Wouldn't that be the best time? Because in the morning, they're rushing to get off to work, you know, maybe get their, their kids to school. You know, wouldn't the evenings be the best time? And yeah, you know, maybe the evenings would be the best time based on that thought process. However, the reality is, is what happens when people get home from work? 
Well, now they either are picking up their kids from school, they gotta get them fed, they're stressed out because it was a long day, they're mentally exhausted. So you wanna catch them not only when you're freshest in the morning, but also when they're freshest. You will get a decent pickup rate, uh, just like you do from eight to nine. You'll get a great pickup rate after 5 p.m. So if you don't have any appointments, yeah, go ahead and do an extra call session a couple times a week in the evenings, but don't make that your, your time block to always be calling, to always be prospecting, because what's gonna happen? Your day's just gonna get, it's gonna get away from you. If you do have clients, awesome. Their needs are gonna direct your day a lot of the times. Different fires, you're gonna be putting out fires all over the place, and you're just not gonna get to your prospecting, or it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be four o'clock, and you said you're gonna call from four to six, and you're whipped from the day, you're mentally exhausted, just like the prospects that you wanna call, they're mentally exhausted, and you just never get to it. Instead of making the calls, you just go home. That's why you wanna call in the morning. You wanna call before anything else. And this applies to any type of prospecting, whether you're calling for sale by owners or circle prospecting or even doing buyer lead generation. You always wanna do it in the morning. And if you're not an early riser, just become one. Like 10X your results by getting on the phones by eight. I'm telling you, it is so much better when you're on the phones early. You're gonna get such better results. First thing I want you to do is A, pick the time that you're gonna start calling. Put it in your calendar. I always like to use a paper calendar because I can physically write it in and I can draw arrows down and X out you know, from eight to 11 so it's in there and I can see it. And when I'm setting appointments, I have my calendar in front of me on paper and I'm writing in the appointments as I'm going. So the first thing I want you to do is just pick a time where you're gonna be calling your prospects. The second thing I want you to do is to practice your skills, practice your scripts. And I know a lot of people don't like scripts, but the reality is, is everybody has a script. It's maybe yours just isn't proven and tested. So use, use a script that actually works. And eventually you're gonna internalize it and it's gonna, gonna become your own and it's just gonna become a natural dialogue. It, it's no longer a script. It's your dialogue that you're having, but it's internalized, it's memorized, and it just comes out naturally. That's the skill set that you wanna develop, the skill set you wanna build. And you're gonna do that through having role play partners. Another tip I just want to share for calling expired is don't try to figure it out yourself. Like don't try to get all the numbers like from the MLS, from going to like the MLS and like the yellow pages or whatever you might be using. Like don't waste your time doing that. Invest in a system like Red X or Vulcan 7 because they're going to get the numbers for you. They're going to scrub them. They're going to get good numbers. And that way you can be the most efficient with your time possible. So I hope this video helped. Subscribe to my channel. For more awesome tips like this,